Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Empires, where today I have had yet another genius idea to attract tourists to the Ocean Empire. I recently discovered that land dwellers create these things called aquariums, where they put sea life on display for people to gawk at. So I'm going to pull an Uno Reverse and create the Landarium. And you, dear raptor, will be my first exhibit. <gasps> oh my gosh! Joey finally built the tower! <gasps> She's here. Lindsay, come on down. Hang on a second. Joey is not normally this excited to see me. Something's wrong. Before I go down there, I'm just going to grab my totem of undying, just in case. Well, hello, Joey. <laughs> you got a new tower here. Yes, you finally built it. <laughs> oh, it's very impressive, Joey. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I also want to give you a thank you for my raptor army. I got you just a little <gasps> something. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Wow, yeah. I thought that you were going to do something crazy, but this is very sweet. Thank you, Joey. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, <no>. oh, Joey! <laughs> Joey, what's happening? I'm sorry, I think the foundation was a little rotten. Joey? I think it's all the water. It's a water damage issue. It's your fault. Joey, <laughs> Okay, let me get out. Wait, what's up? Joey, there's lava down here! Help! No! Something's gone horribly wrong. I'm sure you didn't happen? plan for this whatsoever. Not at oh. all. Lizzie, oh my goodness. Be careful. Oh. Hey! I didn't do any of that. <laughs> yeah, this is... What you doing, Lizzie? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, oh, <laughs> well, I wasn't ex. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> what oh. happened? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, jeez, I gotta get out of here. As I was saying before, I narrowly escaped death. This raptor is the first animal I will display in the landarium. So I need to build him a habitat using glass which I have none of so first I need to go and collect sand so if you're a big fan of the desert please look away because I need to demolish a big chunk of it to make all the glass I need ah looks like I angered the locals so I will be leaving now sorry about your desert goodbye now I just have to do a lot of smelting and unfortunately I only have two furnaces and instead of just crafting more furnaces like a normal person, I decided to sit and wait around while I smelted 10 stacks of glass. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Codfather Jimmy to the foyer. Codfather Jimmy to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? have a bad attitude. Maybe I am angry inside. I've been through stuff, so I'm angry. Be quiet, sausage. But Be I quiet. Mean, Stop it! I've never in my life yelled at a girl like this. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Do you think that you are toxic? No. Why not? I potentially could be, yeah. Whippy? You look like mommy, baby. Oh, my glass is done. Perfect. Now I'm going to build some underwater domes. Like so. I'm building it up. Now, of course, I'm not silly. I know a raptor can't live in there. So I need a sponge. Ta-da! Breathable air. Now I just need to get my raptor down here. Yes! No! Aha! Mission accomplished. Now to make this place look like his natural habitat. To the salon! Let's make it look all jungly. And as a reminder of your lost empire home, I will build a weird temple thing. Voila! My raptor enclosure. I'm gonna leave you here forever as I exit the dome and seal it up. 
Wow, it looks so cool from the outside. All the fishes are going to love being able to see a raptor in its natural habitat. Now, I'm going to make a nice little path. What? You thought just because fish could swim, they don't use paths? Pfft, don't be so ridiculous. And they appreciate a decorative path too. So I'm adding some decorative elements and illumination in the form of these sea pickles. Now to add more exhibits. So down here, I'm going to build another glass dome and empty out all the water. And now to fill my exhibit, I will capture a rare and exotic Sha'ip. And luckily I actually know a private collector of these exquisite creatures. So I'm gonna do what I do best, chaos. <laughs> yes, come with me. You've been liberated, momentarily anyway, as I'm about to imprison you once again, this time for my own entertainment down here. There we go. Now let's get this place looking a little more sheep friendly. Ta-da! Grassy meadows. And let me show you what marvelous creatures these sheep are. You can actually dye them different colors. <sighs> I'm sure on land people worship these creatures for their amazing abilities. And I think they're a fantastic addition to my landarium. So goodbye forever because I'm moving on to the next exhibit. So once again, we need a dome to create a breathable atmosphere for my pet land life. And for here, I'm going to try and capture something I've never actually seen before in this world. A polar bear. Yes, they say. You can find them in icy biomes. So I'd better pack my winter coat and head south because somewhere around here, there'll be polar bears. <gasps> now I just need to locate one of these rare endangered creatures in this vast wilderness. Aha, finally, I found you. Now, yes, let's go. We've got a long journey ahead of us. 12 seconds later. Honestly, no wonder polar bears are going extinct. They are the stupidest creatures I have ever had the mispleasure of trying to capture. Somehow I have to transport this all the way home, but it won't even jump up one block. Mm. You must have the IQ of a potato. Now this is more like it. This is how to travel. Oh sweet freedom of the ocean. It'll be smooth sailing from here. If I can figure out which way my house is. Ta-da! The exquisitely endangered polar bear in his little bubble. Now, let's extend the path once again where I have built two new enclosures. In this one, I'm going to capture a creature native to the Undergrove Empire and I'm gonna trap it here in its bubble. So let us venture forth to the empire of the Shrub Princess. And with my spyglass, I will do a spot of bird watching. Mm. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> a woodpecker! Hello, good sir. You are coming home with me. Let's go to the Ocean Empire. Yes. Magical bird. Magical bird friend. Magical bird friend. Magical bird friend. Magical bird. <laughs> What the? Who are you? Oh, my favorite farmer villager. What are you doing? Are you Spider-Man? Because you are far from home. Let's get you back to the ocean empire where you belong. <gasps> Unless, do you have a lover in another empire? Oh my gosh. Okay, I will escort you across the ocean. Where were you heading? To Mythland. Well, let me drop you off at the docks and I wish you well. All in a day's work for the Ocean Queen. Now, Woodpecker, please, if you wouldn't mind, stay here. We're gonna have this place looking like your native land in no time. Ta-da! Now for a final finishing touch, a jukebox, because I know you can dance. I just know it. So, I am going to spend one of my diamonds to make this. Doopy jooky boxy. And unfortunately, the only music disc I have is. <laughs> Missing. Missing. What the heck? <gasps> it's over here. Mall. 
So, hopefully it's one you can boogie to. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Ah, it's so cute! Bless his little wooden pecker! No, wait. This might be my favorite exhibit, but we still have one more exhibit. And now for my final trick, I'm going to unveil my patented cloning device and use it to clone Mythland's favorite canine companion, Bubbles. Where is Bubbles, you ask? Well, I'm wondering the same thing. Two hours later. Ta-da! Come along now, Bubbles. Now, to make this place look like home, I'm going to use some of the house sausage colors to decorate the floor. And then, because Mythland is the capital of iron, I'm gonna hang all these iron chains from the ceiling to hang the lanterns from. And of course, a gratuitous number of anvils. And finally, this is what I call the iron throne. Kind of just looks like a really wide toilet. It's perfect. Bubbles, take your place on the throne. Oh no, I just remembered. I'm breaking the law. Shovel has the crown now and we're all supposed to tame five wolves. So let's take care of that with my new pet wolves. And as per Emperor Shrub's request, I'm going to post them around my empire. So you can guard my bed and help to keep me warm at night in the cold sea breeze. You there shall guard the entrance to my axolotl barracks. You will guard my villagers. You will guard my prismarine shop. And finally, you. I need you down here by the nether portal, protecting me from anything that might try to seep out. And that is it for this episode of Empires. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you would add to the Landarium. And I will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>